What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but he seemed to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Huh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does. From Natla Technology. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Lars, with this slip. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Kuala. That's my secret. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Okay, welcome everybody to my playthrough of Tomb Raider, the original. A classic, where it all began. Now, anyone that would know me would know that number two is my favourite of all time. But this is definitely a close second. But I figured it made sense to start with the first one before we moved on to number two. And I think it makes good sense to always start with Laura's home. Unless this demo bloody kicks in before I get a chance to even click what I wanted to click. Thank you, game, for just ignoring the fact that I am. I can understand if I was just stood there not doing anything, but I was literally rotating the uh, the icons, and it still decided to kick in the demo. Now I have to wait for it again. So let's quickly jump into Laura's home before the demo starts to take over again. Hopefully, the audio is okay in this, and the sounds not too loud, at least for the live broadcast. And hopefully. You can't hear the fan too much in the background because it's getting to the points where it's getting quite hot over here in the miserable old England. I'll take you on a guided tour. And I don't want to be boiling to death in this little room. So there is going to be a fan on. It's down by my feet, so hopefully it's not being picked up too much. Use the D-pad to go into the music room. I'm gonna to have to make sure to stop moving whenever I, uh, well, whenever she starts talking, because it can if you keep moving. It will like break the dialogue that she's saying, which is really annoying. Okay, let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. I just really hate this in games in this kind of era where they say, press the jump button. But this is a tutorial level. It's meant to be telling me what the jump button is. Now Good job I know. Quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Forwards and backwards and then let's do a roll and then left and right. Pretty basic. And that's it. I guess this is like a music room where it was. With a fancy harp and piano. The house gets a bit more fleshed out in, in the next few games. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crate. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. How convenient. You can use them all for... Learning how to climb, I suppose. But yeah, you'll be able to access a few of these rooms, stuff in the next game, like her bedroom and the loft. I think you can get into as well, or the attic, basement as well. I think kitchen, outside, but it's pretty basic at the minute. And while still pressing forward, press action, and I'll vault up onto it. I should just generally got the Ark of the Covenant here, you know, like you do. As long as you don't open it, I think she'll be alright. Well, she kind of wants me to vault up onto it, but... I assume they wanted you to just do this everywhere. I generally just jump onto the first one and then jump over them all, but... Very unorganised uh, stacking of these boxes really you could at least put them all into like one corner or one side of the room so you could at least navigate your house jesus this used to be the ballroom but i've converted it into my own personal gym what do you think well let's do some exercises i think it's very basic laura 
far as a gym goes. I mean, it's literally just walking platforms and climbing platforms, I guess. There's no actual gym equipment in it. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button and walk to the white line. What's the walk button, Laura? I don't know. Well, I do, but anyone... Walk button down. I won't fall off, even if you try to make me. Go on, try it. I will, don't you worry. If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Then press in the direction you want to look. I want to look in the direction of where the look button is. God damn it. Number two. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Then press jump immediately, followed by forward, and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Jump! Press forward and I'll climb up. Yeah, it's a good job I know what forward is, Laura. If I do a running jump, I can make a jump like that, no problem. Right, let me just go look what this stuff is. I just got a random chest. Buried behind all this. Filled with, does that mean to be gold? It looks like a gold chest filled with gold. I get it, you've got some money. Walk to the edge with the white line until I stop. Then let go of walk and tap backwards to give me a run up. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. Actually jump until the last minute. Easy. No problem. Number four. Right, this is a really big one. To do a running jump. That's what she I said. Before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. Here we go. Right. My knees. <laughs> Just really do damage to my knees. I'm sure, they're the first things that probably hit the. Uh, board number five try to vault up here I can't climb up because the gap is too small but press right and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room then press forward shimmy 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 tap backwards and I'll jump off backwards Immediately press and hold the action button, and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. On my knees. Oh. I don't know, would your knees hit first? Or would a different part of your body, maybe your upper legs, crotch area maybe, would hit first? I don't know. I feel like you're going to bang your knees a lot. It's going to hurt, especially when she's actually out in the wilderness, and she's climbing onto rocks and... Not bloody crash mats. The jump okay. And the directions move me around underwater. One of the things I don't tell you how to do is how to swan dive. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. I think it's a diving board in like the next game, I think. Or if not the next one, the third one at least. Gives you a bit more height to do that off. Oh, air. Just use forward and left. And right to maneuver around on the surface. Press jump to dive down for another swim about, or go to the edge and press action to climb out. I'll go for another swim because moving around on the water is just so fucking like. I don't think anyone ever actually moves while on top of the water because it's just so slow. Why is she so slow like this? Why can't she swim faster on the surface? Oh, underwater all the way. All right, and that ends the tutorial level. Because once we get out of this portal, the uh, kick us back to the main menu. Right now, I'd better take off these wet clothes. 